Everybody. Hey guys, happy Sunday to you. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, my name is Josh. If you don't know who I am, if you're brand new here, and uh, we're just going to hang out for a little bit and chat a little bit about where the cruise ships are going. Where are they going? As we all know, everything has been put on a pause, on a hiatus. Everything has stopped moving in terms of the cruising industry. And uh, everybody, the big question I think on a lot of people's minds is, uh, where are the cruise ships going? Where are they going? What's happening to them? Are the crews staying on board? Do they get a month-long vacation? What What's happening? What's going on? I've got some actual, um, we're going to walk through, I've got the marine traffic up. Uh, we've got some articles that have been put out, some actual word from crew members, and a lot of other cool information to kind of uh, maybe ease some of your minds, maybe answer some of those questions that you guys are having. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to go through that here for the next uh, little bit. So if you have any questions about that or any cruising questions at all. Uh, I know this is not our weekly live show, but I found it would be best uh, if I did this particular video, I think, live with you guys. That way you can ask questions. If you have questions about a specific ship, where is a specific ship at right now? Maybe you were scheduled to be on board a ship. Uh, we can certainly look that up and see exactly where they're at. Uh, and see if we can get you that information that you're looking for, okay? Uh, I, like I said, I was going to pre-record this video and have it go up for tomorrow, but I figured it'd be a whole lot funner if, uh, funner, I said funner, okay? It'd be a whole lot funner if uh, I did it live with you guys, all right? So I hope that is okay. With that being said, I'm going to pull up the, uh, like I said, the marine traffic. Uh, big thanks, uh, once again, to Marine Traffic, the app, for uh, making this possible for us to check it out. So what you guys are seeing right here, Everything's backwards on the stream. What you're seeing right here, this is um, ships. All these dots, all of these circles, uh, these, these shapes, they are all ships. Some of them are cruise ships. Some of them are uh, cargo ships. Some of them are uh, just regular passenger ships. Some of them are tankers. Uh, but they are all ships, okay? And so this right here is Freeport. Uh, this is the island of Freeport. We'll pull over. And right here is the east coast of Florida. Uh, that is just where we're going to start for today and so on. So uh, a big question I think that everybody has kind of been wondering is what is going to happen to the cruise ships? Obviously, they all cannot fit in port at the same time, right? So what's going to happen? Where are they going to go? Um, and we've gotten some news, we've gotten some word over the last uh, 24, 48 hours about what's going to happen to a number of those cruise ships. Uh, they're going to kind of be doing a dance of sort. They're all also uh, very happy to see they're working with each other. We're going to zoom in and see, but there's actually cruise ships uh, cruise lines docking at other cruise lines, private islands, and using that anchorage space and stuff. So very happy to see them kind of working together and working with each other during this time. Obviously, it's very stressful for everybody in the cruise industry. Uh, all of the all of the big wigs and the the beards, as John Held would call them, I'm sure they are they are super stressed out. Uh, so it's good to see that everybody is kind of working with each other. Um, that being said, right now we'll start with the Port of Miami. So we're going to zoom in here. Here is the Port of Miami. 
uh, offshore, just anchored, this is going to be the MSC Seaside. Okay, so the MSC Seaside, there she is. Now, I am on mobile, so if we click pa past track, it will show you the past track. And if you guys want to do this on your own, uh, you can just go to marinetraffic.com. This is not a sponsored video. They have not asked me to make a video with them. I just think it's a really cool app. They've also got an app that you can download. I think it does cost a little bit in the app store, uh, but you can download it, and I think it has a mobile-friendly version. Um, but this is the MSCC side. If you actually go to the Port of Miami webcam, you can see her currently sitting off the coast of Miami. She has already dropped off her passengers, and she is just going to be waiting at Anchorage for now until they have to come back in, uh, replenish the stock, replenish uh, the food and fuel and water and all of that kind of stuff on board. But for the most part, it looks like for now at least, she's going to be remaining at Anchorage and then kind of transitioning in and out right there at the Port of Miami. Coming on over... Uh, right now, leaving the port, you'll see that there is an arrow with one of these ships. I feel like I'm doing like a tech talk or something, like a tech presentation. But Oasis of the Seas, um, she is currently pulling out. I don't remember where exactly she is going, but we'll keep a close eye on this over the next 24 hours. And if you guys want to as well, uh, but she is presumably going to wherever she is going to be anchored. So that is the immediate answer is what is happening to these different cruise ships? Well, they are either going to be finding anchorages at sea or they are going to be remaining in ports. Uh, some of them are embarkation ports, some of them different ports. We're going to talk about one ship uh, that's actually hit really close to home to me that is in a completely new spot for it, uh, somewhere that it should not be. Uh, like I said, uh, lots of questions popping in over here. I do see your guys' questions. We're going to have a question time coming up here in just a few minutes. Uh, but if you do want, to, if you do want you know, the specifics on where a specific ship is at, uh, let me know. And, uh, you know, if there's a lot for one specific ship, then we can definitely search it. Uh, they have a search tool feature with this as well. So uh, very cool stuff here. Uh, followed behind the Oasis, uh, we have got the Norwegian Encore. To my understanding, that is where she's going to be remaining, at least for now. Uh, she will remain alongside and maybe move in and out to allow passengers, you know, different ships to finish getting all of their passengers off and everything. Um, behind that, we've got Scarlet Lady, Virgin Voyages' new ship, Scarlet Lady. Scarlet Lady has been doing uh, some docking practices with their new uh, port over in uh, Bimini. Uh, they've actually built a pier. They've built a pier, a very, very, very long pier over there at Bimini, and they have been doing docking maneuvers and tests with that island for the last couple days, and they are back in Miami to what I presume is to replenish stock and maybe take some more stuff over to the island and that kind of thing. But there she is, Scarlet Lady. Right behind Scarlet Lady going to be the Carnival Horizon. Uh, Carnival Horizon, this is where she will remain. Uh, like I said, with the exception, all of these when I say they'll remain there, the only exception to that would be if they need to pull out of port and go to Anchorage so that another ship can get in to refuel or reload or, or things like that. So they're going to kind of be doing a, a dancing of ships of sort uh, for, the next, for the next month or so. Uh, behind that, we've got an empty space currently. I'm sure that will be filled up. And then we've got the MSC Meraviglia. Uh, once again, I believe she is staying here at the Port of Miami, at least for now. Um, no news on her moving anywhere else. Uh, also behind her, we've got the Explorer of the Seas. Okay, so Explorer of the Seas. I'm not sure about Explorer. I have not heard where Explorer is going, if she's going to be staying in Miami or moving somewhere else. Uh, currently in the Turning Basin right here, we've got the Norwegian Pearl. Uh, I do assume that that means that she is leaving uh, Miami because she was docked here today already uh, disembarking passengers and stuff. So uh, I assume that she is probably leaving and going somewhere else. Uh, and that is the port of my... Oh, and one more. I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot about the... Uh the far side of the port, we've got, I believe, is it a region or something? Oh, Empress. Empress of the Seas. And I believe Empress is staying in Miami. Uh, the green ones, like I said, are cargo or, uh, the green ones are cargo. The red are uh, oil. The purple is usually like private, uh, either fishing or yachts or private boats that uh, have a registered, what do you call it, transponder. Keep in mind, this is not all of the boats in Miami. Some boats are so small that they don't come up on this radar, right? So there's still a lot more boats that we're seeing. This is just picking up major ships, cruise ships, cargo ships, tankers, that kind of thing, okay? And we can also filter that, but I figured it'd be cool if you guys saw all that. So that is the Port of Miami right now. Now, I did mention that uh, cruise lines are working together. We're going to zoom out nice and big so you guys can see exactly where I'm going. Uh, I'm very familiar with the geom uh, geography of the, uh, the Florida area and the Bahamas and really the Caribbean, and so I don't really need to zoom out, but so you guys are able to follow along. So we just pulled out of Miami, 
Now we're going to pull over into the Bahamas, okay? So uh, this is where we're going to start to see some of those ships anchoring. Um, specifically one that I found very interesting. We'll pull into Great Stirrup Key, which is where I was due to visit next month. Uh, Great Stirrup Key has actually got a, uh, a non-familiar face. The MSC Davina, currently anchored at Great Stirrup Key. Robbie, I believe you... Um, yes, and he says Norwegian Pearl is heading to Jacksonville to be with the Sky and the Gym. Okay, fantastic. So that is where uh, they are heading to right now. And yes, Robbie did post. The MSC Davina is at Great Strip Key as a port of call. Should be dropping off its guests tomorrow, I believe. That is interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, so they are actually stopping in Great Strip Key for a port of call. How cool is that? And then they'll be dropping off. You know, ships finishing up their itineraries. Actually, speaking of that, today we got word uh, the port of San Juan closed to cruise passengers that were due to get off today so that impacted the uh, Norwegian epic uh, the carnival fascination and um, hold on hold on hold on one more ship freedom of the seas freedom of the seas uh, and so they were not allowed entry into the port this morning and so because of that they are making their way um, I believe epic is going to Port Canaveral uh, Fascination and Freedom of the Seas are both going to Miami. And so they will be there uh, Tuesday, they suspect, by about noon to disembark their passengers. But obviously that, that causes a lot of things up in the air for the way of flights and travel home. You think, you know, how many people lived in San Juan or in Puerto Rico, and we're not planning on, on you know, flying back, uh, having to fly back home. Uh, and so to my understanding, I think the cruise lines are definitely working with them. Of course, this is way out of their control. Uh, so they're working with them to get flights back and everything. I think that's, that's, that's fantastic of the cruise lines to do that. The right thing to do, definitely, I feel. Um, people were not prepared in any way to, you know, buy a plane ticket from Miami or, or Orlando to back to Puerto Rico. But that being said, their cruise has been extended by uh, two days, two days, you know, a little bit more than two days. So uh, for some, they really enjoying it. They're appreciative. They're, they're very happy. And for some, of course, it's causing frustration and concern and worry and all that stuff. So um, cruise ships are still continuing to disembark their passengers. And we will see that over the next couple of days. I think, uh, you know, Friday, Friday and Saturday was the last couple of cruise ships to leave with passengers so we should be seeing them come back I would think by midweek of this week I would take a guess and say that, that probably all of those ships will be back by then uh, Robbie says after Epic drops off her guest in Port Canaveral she's heading to St. Thomas for dock to the end of all of this yes she's heading to St. Thomas and it was my understanding that the fascination Carnival fascination was also going to be going to St. Thomas uh, and be chilling there down in St. Thomas for the uh, remainder of this event. Uh, you have to wonder how, how the crew feel about that. I, I imagine there's probably com some concern, um, you know, with not knowing, and, and I'm sure they're, they're all very sad to not have guests on board as much as, uh, you know, the guests, some guests can be needy and everything. You have to think this is what these people signed up for. This is their jobs. And I imagine they're going to become very bored very quickly and they're going to be very tired of cleaning uh, because there will be a lot of cleaning being done as, you know, during this big break, this big hiatus. Uh, I'm sure they will all be looking forward to when guests are able to uh, once again embark on these wonderful, wonderful cruise ships. But uh, that is Great Strip Key. And then, of course, Coco Key right here. We've got Navigator of the Seas as well as Mariner of the Seas. Looks like Mariner just now pulling out of port. It is about time for that after all. It's 441 here in, in the East Coast time. Um, very interesting situation over here with the, I believe it's the, yeah, Brea Mar. The Brea Mar uh, currently has confirmed coronavirus cases on board its ship. Uh, confirmed cases there. And so at, at this time, no one has allowed uh, that ship to dock. Nowhere in the Bahamas. They have tried Freeport, I believe. I believe they tried Nassau. But what they are doing is they are trying to get uh, some doctors on board. They're trying to get uh, some officials and some port personnel on board. Hopefully uh, be able to dock this ship somewhere. I believe they were still talking about seeing if they could work something out with Freeport. Uh, but very interesting. So right now it is literally anchored along with, uh, you'll see the two red dots there, which means oil tankers. It's literally anchored uh, just above Bimini. Over here is Bimini, uh, and it is anchored just above that. And then just beside of it is a Princess cruise ship. I was looking at this a little bit earlier. Uh, the Sky Princess, actually, brand new uh, Princess cruise ship there. The Sky Princess anchored right there in the Bahamas, just chilling. 
just chilling. And so you have to wonder, do the crew get any kind of uh, deck time, of open deck? Do they get a, a time to go up and sun in the, in the Bahamian weather? Because after all, even though all of this is going on, it's still beautiful weather. It's still beautiful water there in the Bahamas. So you have to wonder, uh, are the crew able to get any time up on deck with no passengers on board? I sure hope that they are. I hope that they're able to, uh, you know, relax and, and enjoy themselves just, just for a little bit, even. Um, because it has to it has to be taking a toll on them for sure um okay so let's zoom back out now I, i've seen a couple questions about the sunshine and the sunrise uh, sunrise i believe is in fort lauderdale we'll come on over to fort lauderdale here and just confirm that but i believe sunrise is in fort lauderdale and to my understanding that's where she's going to stay celebrity silhouette just making her departure now uh, from fort lauderdale uh, right here we've also got the regal regal princess uh, I believe she may just be coming out to let other ships in. To my understanding, I think she was going to be staying there. And then Anchorage all day today has been Adventure of the Sea. She was docked overnight but had to move out of the way because Port Everglades has had a full ship visit today. All port, uh, or all port uh, slips have been full today. Um, let's see. Is Sunri I don't think Sunrise is in at this point. Sunrise, actually, I know where Sunrise is at. The Sunrise is currently in Nassau. I think she's finishing up her cruise now. And then she will be staying in, uh, in Port Everglades. So we'll come on over here to Nassau. Da, 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 da. Here, here we go. We're zooming into Nassau. There's a couple ships. I believe the Escape is also in Nassau today. Yep, there that one is. The Norwegian Escape So in Nassau currently. Uh, right beside her, we have the Seven Seas Explorer. And then right beside that is going to be the Carnival Sunrise. Yep, Carnival Sunrise in Nassau. Do you'll see right there... Um, where it says B-S-N-A-S, that's short for Nassau, and then U-S-P-E-F, that's Port Everglades, Florida. So she's heading to Port Everglades, will be there tomorrow morning, I presume. And then that is where she will stay. As far as the sun, sunshine, she is due to stay in Charleston in South Carolina. That is her current port of, uh, of embarkation, her port of call, main port of call. And that is where she is going to be staying, to my understanding. Um, they typically don't receive a lot of ships there, so I don't see many issues with that. Uh, I mentioned earlier that there was one ship that has moved far away from home that uh, was actually hitting close to home for me, and that is the Norwegian Sky. Mr. Robbie uh, also touched on that one, but Norwegian Sky actually made her way all the way from down here in Miami. She made her way all the way up to Jacksonville, Florida, uh, and she has done that over the last two days. They went at about seven to eight knots usually. Uh, that was about their top speed for that trip up. Uh, and there she is right there, the Norwegian Sky docked alongside in Jacksonville. And that is where she is going to stay until this whole thing is over. Uh, also in Jacksonville, right up top here, we've got the Carnival Ecstasy. And that is, of course, her home port. That's her embarkation port. And that is where she is expected to stay, at least for now. Um, crazy things when you're thinking about all of these cruise ships. Uh, I I've seen a number of pictures have actually been sent to me of people driving past uh, you know, the port of Miami, you know, going right there on Mac MacArthur Causeway on the way to Miami Beach or coming from Miami Beach and seeing all the cruise ships lined up as though it's embarkation day, but there is no passengers on board. It looks like a ghost ship, looks like a ghost town over there. There's no cars going across over onto the port. It really is uh, a, a time for the history books. I, I, I don't, I hope that we don't have to see something like this ever again. Uh, but I don't know that anything like this has ever happened. Uh, so just moving up the East Coast now, uh, nothing really here in uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. Like I said, the Carnival Sunshine, which that is her right there, that blue dot. She's making her way to Charleston uh, right here. So she will arrive, I believe, they're due back tomorrow morning. Nothing in North Carolina, nothing docking in North Carolina at this time. Up in Baltimore, we have the Carnival Pride. So we'll zoom in. Oh, if the map will load. There it is. And there she is, that blue dot right there uh, was the Carnival Pride. Uh, and so she is going to be staying there in, in Baltimore, to my understanding, for the foreseeable future. It looks like the map has got to load up, guys. You understand that we're dealing with technology here. It is at the mercy of the wind. Uh, Darella51 says, Norwegian Bliss is here in NYC in New York City. Della, let's come up and take a look at that. Uh, we've just got a ship leaving New York City right now. Let's see which one that is. That is Anthem of the Seas. 
Anthem of the Sea is going to Coco Key, so I believe that they will be going and staying down in Coco Key, anchoring their ship there. Obviously, I imagine it would be a whole lot cheaper uh, to anchor your ship on your private island than it would be to pay for berth space uh, up in New York City, especially of all places. I don't know, Robbie, chime in on that, though. What do you think? Uh, is the Bliss due to stay there in New York City, or is she moving? Is she, are they taking it down south, perhaps to Great Stroke Key or whatever? Uh, there she is. There's the Norwegian Bliss right there in New York City. Uh, docked along at the Manhattan cruise terminal. Uh, it's got to be sad. It's got to be sad. If you live anywhere around these cruise ships, around these embarkation ports, these embarkation cities, it's got to be sad to see these cruise ships and know that, that nobody is going on board. Um, nobody is on board and the crew are remaining on board. So uh, we've got word of what are the crew going to be doing. That is just the East Coast. We're not done. I'll, I'll show if you guys want a specific ship, drop it in the comments and we'll see if we can find it for you, okay? Um... The crew, staying on board, that is what they are doing. Uh, many questions of whether they would be sent home, uh, whether they would have to find immediate flights you know, out of the U.S. because we're, we're upping our travel bans pretty much every single day. Uh, crew are staying on board. That is the consensus pretty much across all cruise lines. The crew are staying on board to clean the ship um, and just to remain on board. It's probably safer for them there than if they were to travel back to their home country risk, you know, possible contamination in the process or if they get back and then come back and just escalate the situation even further. So uh, crew are staying on board, at least for right now. There's no plans to send them home. Uh, most cruise lines, the, um, you know, they've, they've ceased operations for about 30 days, some a little bit more, some a little bit less. And then you've got a couple that have doubled that and done 60 days, uh, Princess to name just one of those. Uh, do I think that that could be pulled back? Possibly. I think that if we get to the end of the 30 days and all of the cruise lines resume, I think the Princess may reevaluate. But they have already canceled all those cruises. So is it even worth it? Are they going to make the revenue if they were to open back up early? I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Um, oh, they're saying I'm blocking my face. That's so funny. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I should probably turn the rotation lock on. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> so where did I go? Immobile Rand says, the captain said there is no change to crew contracts thus far. Um, yeah, so crew are staying on board, no change to that, which is a big difference from um, a big difference from Disney World. A lot of uh, Disney World have actually sent home their college program. They send them home early. I think uh, I was talking to Peter, and they have to be out by like uh, tomorrow, tomorrow or Tuesday. So um, quite, quite, uh, you know, scary stuff there for them. I'm sure, you know, their contract, they had just started in January. Um, and to have their, their contract cut short literally two months early, um, pretty sad for them, unfortunately. Uh, Frank there says, Josh is back again, LOL. Yes, I am back, and I've turned rotation lock on, so now the phone won't, won't go sideways, and it won't block my face anymore. Um, Nick J says, where is Carnival Freedom? Nick, let's find it for you. So we'll go to the search up here, and we'll say Carnival Freedom. Let's see what happens. Carnival Freedom. There she is, uh, Carnival Freedom. If we zoom out, Carnival Freedom, it looks like she is sailing outside of New Orleans. Um, so right here is New Orleans, and there is Carnival Freedom. Uh, let's see, does it say where she's going? Going to GPT, USGPT. I am not familiar with G USGPT, so if anybody knows what USGPT is, please drop it uh, in the comments. Uh, we'd love to, love to get some answers on that. Uh, Disney Magic, good question, Carnival Vista. Disney Magic is actually docked at their private island, uh, Castaway Key over in the Bahamas. Let me not go too far. We're going to Europe now. Uh, Disney Magic, so here is Castaway Key. You see the blue dot, and I believe they docked sometime uh, late last night, early this morning, but there she is right there, Disney Magic. Uh, like I said, docked at Great Stroke Key, at least for right now. Uh, I would not be surprised if one of her sisters joins her there. Probably would have to be an anchorage. I don't believe you can fit more than one Disney cruise ship uh, at a time. Oh, yeah, certainly not. Um, they've definitely got one berth and one berth only there. Gulfport, Valor is already there. That's what Robbie is saying about the Freedom. So that is where um, the Freedom is heading. She's heading to Gulfport, Florida. Um, I am not familiar where Gul Gulfport is. Is it down here? Oh, wait. Is this it right here? This blue dot, that's Rhapsody. So Rhapsody, so we're on the other side of Florida, outside of Tampa Bay. Rhapsody is at Anchorage. 
um, outside of Tampa Bay. Let's see who's inside of Tampa Bay. Looks like we've got a couple inside. So we've got the Norwegian Dawn uh, currently docked inside of Tampa Bay. Doesn't look like the cruise terminal. Uh, we've got the Carnival Legend. Uh, looks like she is docking. And then the Carnival Paradise as well. All of those there in uh, Tampa Bay currently, at least for now. Um, Dorella51 says, what is up with the Mardi Gras? I think Mardi Gras is continuing uh, on schedule. I believe that you know they're, they're still working with it on it, at least for now at this time. Uh, a big question on everybody's mind is Carnival Radiance, because the Radiance was due to come out in April. And so a lot of people are wondering what is going to happen with that. Um, at this point, I don't know that we have a lot of information on that, but when we do get uh, some information, of course, we will be, be sure to share that. Uh, we're seeing, I'm seeing Gulfport is in Mississippi, is in Alabama, all right? So let's pull on out here, and we'll come over. Let's see. Oh, is it this right here? No, that's too small to be a cruise ship. Oh, I see, right here, Gulfport. Got it. And sometimes it doesn't pull up. Well, that says backdraft, so I'm not sure if that's what it is. Uh, but they could, Oh, over here. So here she is, uh, Carnival Valor. There she is right there. She is in Gulfport, and, and uh, as Robbie has told us, that is where Freedom is heading as well. So uh, some ports that definitely are not used to seeing cruise ships. You may look out your window and find a cruise ship, uh, and that is all due to this current scenario. Now, uh, also, I'm going to open this tab here. Um, cruise Radio put out a great article about where some Carnival cruise ships would be. And much like other cruise lines, of course, they don't have homes for all of these ships yet. So definitely check out the article. I won't read it all for you here. Uh, but it goes through to say kind of what is going to be docking where. Long Beach is going to have the Inspiration arrive on Monday the 16th. Uh, St. Thomas will have the Fascination. Uh, but what's really interesting is down here. It says, Elsewhere, the Carnival Vista and Carnival Imagination will each be anchored at sea while homes are still being sought for a few members of the fleet. As of now, the temporary homes of the Carnival Panorama, Carnival Valor, and Carnival Freedom are still up in the air. So Freedom and uh, Valor have found their homes. Their homes are going to be Gulfport, Florida, as we've just learned. Uh, Panorama, we're still interested to hear where Panorama is going to go. I honestly would not be surprised if they end up just anchoring it right there in uh, somewhere in Long Beach or uh, somewhere around there. I don't think that they're going to move it too far from there, to be honest with you. Um, is there any other, where is the ovation? Moon Gruel wants to know, where is the ovation? Ovation of the seas. We will find it for you. Ovation of the seas. So it's the vessel is out of range. So it's going to give us the last updated location. So this is the last updated location. So it looks like she was leaving, uh, Sydney. Looks like she was leaving Sydney, Australia. Um, probably heading somewhere to New Zealand, okay? So that looks like that's where they are heading. Um, you have to remember that with this pause, this is a global pause on operations for most of these cruise lines. So this is not just the U.S. Uh, pausing operations. This is, this is across the globe. And that's, you know, here we are zoomed out. First of all, this is, this is what the world looks like in, in terms of shipping. So the next time that you're out on the ocean and you think that you're, you're the only person out there and that nobody else is out there, take a look at this. And that is what the ocean really looks like right now. Uh, but you see a lot of red, a lot of green, not a lot of blue moving. Not a lot of blue. The blue is, of course, passengers. Uh, it is cruise ships and not a lot of those to be seen moving right now. Uh, interesting sights down in the Caribbean as well. Uh, we come down to... I think it was Guadalupe. Yes. Uh, so Guadalupe had a number of ships docked today. Uh, this right here was, oh, that's the pilot. No, so we want to zoom in even further. You see the pilot is actually just getting on board right now. So the pilot ship, that's that little blue boat right there. Uh, but this is the MSC Preziosa. Uh, it looks like she is currently leaving port. Uh, still in port right now. Uh, the Costa Favelosa. Costa was actually at Anchorage, so I believe Guadalupe is where uh, Costa is going to be staying because it was at Anchorage earlier today. And so that's what you're also going to see is a couple of these uh, islands. We're going to see them actually have ships at Anchorage. Um, Joseph Rojo says, can you zoom into Galveston, Texas? We sure can. Uh, M Matthew with a six, uh, where is the Carnival Breeze? Carnival Breeze is in Port Canaveral. We'll go there after we go to Galveston. 
So let's come on over here to Galveston. Anybody sailed out of Galveston? Did you like it? I have not yet, but would like to. Uh, so we currently have a couple ships leaving Galveston here. Let's see which one this is. Carnival Vista, there she goes, and she is heading, uh, well, it looks like she's going to be staying in Galveston, I believe, because it says USGLS uh, and going to USGLS. So I think she's just going to Anchorage at this point. Uh, also leaving Galveston right now, Liberty of the Seas. Again, looks like she's going to be going to Anchorage, staying there in Galveston and just going to Anchorage at this point. Uh, I know that we still have a couple ships, I think, due back, maybe one or two due back. Uh, to Galveston before uh, everybody comes to a full, full halt. And that is it for Galveston right now. That is all that is in Galveston. Everything else is, of course, oil and uh, or cargo or fishing or things like that. Uh, over here in Orlando, Orlando, Port Canaveral, seeing a full, full port as well. Just making sure, yes, we do have one offshore right now. That's the Norwegian Sun. Looks like she is going to be going to Port Canaveral. I think she may just be out in the ocean collecting fresh water and that kind of thing. That's the other thing to remember is if you check back on this on, on another day or a, a different time, maybe even later tonight, you may see that the ships have moved and you're going to go, well, Josh, I thought you said the ship was staying there. But uh, a number of these cruise ships, they actually, most of them, they have to go out into the ocean and collect fresh water every couple of days. You know, they, they have osmosis chambers on board that turns seawater into fresh water, into drinkable water. And it's honestly a lot cheaper than them having to, you know, uh, have water imported off of, off of tankers and off of trucks. So they just choose to take the ship out in the ocean for a couple hours, let it fill up with some fresh water, and take it back in. Um, in Port Canaveral, we've got Harmony of the Seas, nice big Royal Caribbean cruise ship there. We've also got the Norwegian Breakaway. Uh, Breakaway, I believe, was or is soon going to be in Miami. Uh, so that'll be nice addition down there to Miami. The Disney Fantasy also docked alongside the Disney Cruise Terminal there in Port Canaveral. And we've also got the Carnival Breeze. There she is, as I mentioned. Carnival Breeze docked right there in Port Canaveral alongside uh, one of the Carnival Cruise Terminals. We have one, two, I think three more terminal slips available, but I, I presume that those will be filled. Um, surely the Norwegian ship is going to fill one of those. And then others, as they finish up their cruises, finish up their itineraries, they will be heading that way, I presume. Uh, Norwegian Sun left Port Canaveral today, that is true. Um, this is interesting from Rick Taylor. He says, Vista was loading in Galveston this morning and has left. That's, that's right, Rick. We just watched that. He says, many crew members were bringing several bags of supplies each as they boarded. Yeah, so you know, uh, for crew members, when you and I, it's turnaround, or for you and I, when it's embarkation or debarkation day, for the crew members, it's called turnaround day. And so for them, it's an opportunity to get off the ship, go to the grocery store, uh, go get a haircut if they don't want to get it on board. Just really get off the ship and have, you know, some, some normal life for them. Uh, maybe even go catch a movie. I know that a lot of crew, they like to go catch a movie if they can while they're uh, on land. So, uh, but with the uncertainty of not knowing necessarily when they're going to be back in, when things are going to be back to normal, I imagine that the crew were probably kind of stocking up, much similar to the rest of the United States of America right now, stocking up on supplies to uh, not have to go to the grocery store for uh, a couple weeks. Uh, Tim Johnson says, I hope we don't see cruise ships out our window at home. We only live on a small pond in New Smyrna Beach. That is funny. Yeah, if you see cruise ships outside of your window, Tim, uh, maybe, maybe time to call, call in the, uh, the Calvary. Uh, something's definitely wrong there. Something's definitely not right. Um, Dorella51 says, Grand Celebration is in Palm Beach. Yes, Grand Celebration is there. Um, but then also if we zoom into Freeport, Freeport going to be seeing a number of cruise ships as well. So we've got a celebrity ship at Anchor. Uh, we'll click on that one first. Celebrity Equinox currently at anchor off of Freeport, uh, Bahamas. As you guys know, Freeport, a very deep, natural, deep port in the Bahamas. A number of cruise ships often go there. Uh, also docked, we've got two Carnival ships. We've got the Carnival Magic first right there alongside, uh, followed by the Carnival Conquest. Both of those are Florida-based cruise ships. Magic and Conquest actually are out of Miami, I believe. Or no, Magic is out of Fort Lauderdale. Conquest is out of Miami now. Conquest just moved to Miami not too long ago. Also further back here in Dry Dock currently, uh, in one of the Dry Dock facilities, we've got the Carnival Elation. And then alongside there is the Grand Classica. So uh, that is along the cargo facilities there in Freeport. The Grand Classica, the second cruise ship for um, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. Uh, docked right there in Freeport, Bahamas. Like I said, that natural deep harbor, deep well. 
Uh, I think we'll see a number of cruise ships heading and anchoring in the Bahamas as time goes on. So uh, very interesting stuff here. Very interesting to look at and check this out over here. Uh, let's see which one this is. This is the Crown Princess. Crown Princess. And I think she has been here just about all day. Uh, so this is docked just off the uh, just off of one of the Bahama Islands. Uh, you'll see a lot of cruise ships going there because the water is not relatively deep. I mean, it's, it'd be deep if you or I jumped in it, but for a large ship like that that's, that's looking for an anchorage spot uh, compared to some places in the, in the Atlantic, the Bahamas is relatively shallow water, and they're able to anchor uh, without, without much issue or worry or concern. Um, is, there in, is there anywhere else that you guys want to see? Uh, if so, let me know, and uh, we can zoom in on it. Uh, hey Josh, can you pinpoint where Queen Mary 2's location is? Says Carnival Vista 275. We absolutely can. Let's see. So we'll type in Queen Mary 2. Queen Mary 2. Let's see. Where is the Queen Mary 2? Uh, it looks like she is Australia, maybe? Or she's in Perth. So I think Australia. That's Perth is Australia, right? Let's see if we can zoom out here. Yes! So she is currently in Australia. She is docked in Australia right now. Uh, that is where the Queen Mary 2 is at. Colin Copas Copacetic says, check out Barbados. All right, so we'll zoom out. Come back over to the Bahamas. We'll zoom on in to the Baham to Barbados. There she is. Barbados, let's see what we've got. Oh my goodness, look at that guys. Look at all the cruise ships in Barbados. So we'll go through these right now. So we have got Morella Explorer. Morella Explorer first, uh, followed by the Mian Shift 2. Um, wow, that is uh, both of those cruise ships uh, European based. We've also got the Royal Clipper. So there you actually see a Clipper, uh, a, a sailing ship. Obviously, I'm sure they have a motor of sorts on there. Um, very cool to see that. See, we've got the Seaborn Odyssey as well. Uh, we've got the Sea Dream 1 and the Aida Perla. So all of those international ships, you won't find those docking in uh, Miami or, or, or anywhere on the East Coast really usually 99% uh, of the time. Good question here from Jackie. Jackie says, how are they going to fuel? Just like normal Jackie. Uh, so what they'll do is... Um, you know, the ships that are currently docked alongside, they're currently replenishing their provisions and their fuel and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, you know, if another ship needs to come in, they'll just take that ship and move it out to Anchorage, much like we said the MSC, MSC Seaside is doing right now. Uh, they will move that ship out to Anchorage and allow that, uh, allow that other ship to come in, refuel, restock provisions, all the other necess necessities that they need to do, let the crew get off. Uh, go to the store if they need to, and then perhaps if they need to move that ship, then they'll move that ship as well. So it's really just going to be a dancing of the cruise ships right now, uh, moving them around to kind of let everybody take their turns, getting in and out of ports and that kind of thing. Uh, Michael Baggins says, Adventure of the Seas. You got it, Mike. You got it, you got it, you got it. Adventure. Adventure of the Seas. She is currently stopped somewhere. Oh, right. We've, we looked at Adventure a few moments ago. Adventure is off of, uh, she's just outside of Fort Lauderdale. So she is docked at Anchorage, uh, just outside of Fort Lauderdale. Um, she was inside of Fort Lauderdale, in, inside of Port Everglades up until this morning, I believe. And then she had to move out of the way so that, uh, so that some other cruise ships could get in. We've got uh, Catch Attic Mel. Mel Stowe says, who is all docked on the West Coast? Good question. Let's go look. Let's go look. That's about the only place we haven't went thus far. So the West Coast, let's see. So we'll go ahead and zoom on in here to uh, San Diego, Los Angeles area. We've got a, a couple ships still sailing. Like I said, all those cruises should be finishing up, I would say, by midweek of this week. Uh, first is the Royal Princess right there. So it looks like she is just kind of in a holding pattern because she is from Los Angeles, due back to Los Angeles. So I assume she's just out, uh, again, getting some fresh water on board. Um, you know, keeping everything running smooth and that kind of thing. We'll really zoom in here to the Long Beach Terminal. I think that's where we're going to see a number of our uh, embarkations and things like that. 
Uh, we do all already have some ships at Anchorage right here. The Carnival Panorama, just as we suspected, is at Anchorage right in the harbor of Long Beach, California. So there she is. I presume that's where she will stay for the foreseeable future. Carnival Imagination docked alongside, and probably what will happen is when they need to refuel or when they need to, uh, you know, just let the crew get off and stretch their legs, those two ships will probably just switch. Carnival Imagination will come to Anchorage. Carnival Panorama will go to dock, and they'll, they'll do their little dance. Um, you have to think about how how much coordination this has taken from the port officials and the executives of the different cruise lines to coordinate all of this dancing of, of these cruise ships. Because, you know, we have to remember this is not just Carnival Cruise Line. This is not just Norwegian Cruise Line. This is not just Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. This is all cruise lines at this point. There is no cruise ship sailing, at least from the U.S., uh, and the ones that are still sailing over in Europe, the very, very few that are still sailing in Europe, I presume, will be uh, will be canceled pretty soon. Um, some smaller brand names and things like that. Uh, Norwegian Joy also docked alongside there in Los Angeles, and we have the Star Princess as well, a little bit further up. Uh, and it looks like that is about the story for the West Coast. Uh, we can come up here. Let's see. There's Anaheim, San Diego. I'm seeing one ship up here. What ship is this? Okay, so it's not allowing us to see what ship that is. Um, but yeah, that is that is just about the west coast right there. Uh, the panorama, we actually got an email um, at Travel Agents. We did a few moments ago the panorama. They're canceling their call to Cabo San Lucas, and they are going to receive a refund of uh, their cruise fare, and I think they're actually going to go ahead and make their way, but well, yeah, they've made their way back, and they're, they're currently at Anchorage right now, so um, crazy stuff there. We've got, uh, Durella says, the Carnival Splendor, all right, so we will search the Carnival Splendor. Uh, Tracy D says, not sure if you answered this question, but are the, all the crew members staying on the ships during cancellations until April? Uh, yes, yes. Crew members are staying on board. Uh, the determination was made that it would probably be more harmful than good to have them, you know, get on flights, go back to their home countries, potentially, you know, be exposed to CV-19 in the process, uh, you know, whether it be on the airline or in the airport or just in their home country, um, and maybe having not having the same health standards and everything. So, um... Yeah, with that being said, all crew members are staying on board, at least for now, uh, from all cruise lines that have reported so. They are currently staying on board and will be doing extensive cleaning and uh, just kind of hanging out and I think catching a break, uh, which after, you know, the recent week's events and, I mean, all itinerary changes and I'm sure, you know, frustrated and disappointed cruise passengers, I'm sure all of the crew could probably use a little mental break. Uh, definitely our hearts go out to them. Um, what ship were we, oh, Splendor, Carnival Splendor, and then I see the Carnival Sensation as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys are having me talk a lot. My throat's going dry. Michael, we will check on Seattle. We will check on it. Give me just a moment, buddy. Let's find the Splendor first. Uh, Splendor, okay, so she's out of range, so this is the last known location that we have of her. She was leaving New Caledonia. Uh, so the last transmission that they have from her, uh, now that, that when I say that, that doesn't work like airlines. So just because there hasn't been a, a transmission received, the ship hasn't sank or anything. It just, sometimes they don't update it, you know, to, uh, to marine traffic and everything like that. But the last transition, she was leaving New Caledonia. Uh, the next one was the Sensation. So let's see, where is the Carnival Sensation? That's actually one that I haven't heard about. Uh, where is the Sensation going to be docked at? Carnival Sensation. Uh, looks like she is uh, Miami. She's going to be homing in Miami. Uh, so she had just, so she's below Key West right now. The last position was she was below Key West, so I have a feeling she's probably just down there doing a little circle, circle, and she'll be back up in no time. Uh, as for Seattle, let's go to Seattle. Do, 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 do. Seattle's got some ships. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, so let's zoom on in here. See what we've got. We've got to let the map load, of course. Okay, I don't think we're all the way down there. Let me see. Seattle, 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 Seattle. Okay, so that's a smaller ship. 
Um, let's see what we've got here. I think we're going to have some smaller ferries. You have to remember Seattle is big on passenger ferries and things like that. And those are all smaller ferries. I'm not seeing any big cruise ships right now. Not at the moment. Um, yeah, this is a ferry as well. Yep, not, not seeing a whole lot of cruise ships in Seattle, at least for now. Um, of course, that could change. Uh, one thing that I haven't seen a lot of is Holland America cruise ships. I'm not sure what happened to them. I don't know where they're at. Um, Jumbo Cap says, how about the Port of Honolulu? All right, we will look at the Port of Honolulu. Uh, Frank, Frank the Third, Josh, what app or, or site are you using? This is called Marine Traffic. Uh, not a sponsored video. Not a sponsored video. They did not pay me to show you guys this. I just think it's a great app, and I think that it, if you're ever curious about where your ship is at or uh, where any ship is at, then you can uh, definitely check this out. I, I base a lot of, you know, whenever we have breaking uh, cruise news and things like that, uh, you know, um, God forbid, man overboard incidences, you can actually track and see what the ship has done, if it's done circles or loops or things like that. So uh, very, very, very well-designed app for sure. All right, let me find where I'm at here. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, Hawaii. I would love to take a Hawaiian cruise. Anybody done a Hawaiian cruise? We've got, uh, let's see. There is a ship. I think probably the Pride of America, if I had to guess. Surely she'll be anchored in, in uh, Honolulu. Oh, well, it's not wanting to load right now. Yep, there it is. Pride of America. So Pride of America is Norwegian's cruise ship that, you know, exclusively uh, sails Hawaii. Um, there's the Discovery, like I said, just a smaller passenger vessel, another smaller passenger vessel. I think that is it. I think that's the only one left over in Hawaii, at least right now. That was a smaller passenger vessel. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Um... Uh, Jackie says, great work, Josh. Do you know if Cunard have canceled their sailings? I believe they have, Jackie, because they fall under Carnival Corporation, and to my understanding, all Carnival Corporation cruises have uh, halted. So it, I, I believe that Cunard has canceled. I haven't seen any, any of their ships moving um, all day today. Um, Barry says, will Carnival send a ship to Norfolk? I, I, I don't know, Barry. I, I think it's possible. You know, if they need the space, ultimately I think the port would be open at this time. I don't think that there is one uh, in Norfolk, but that, of course, well, actually, let's see. The cruise port is here. No, currently there is nothing at the port of Norfolk. Um, like I said, that could change. Right now, the Carnival Pride is at Baltimore, so that could definitely, definitely change. Um, Michael says, Coco Key. Coco Key. Coco Key. All right, so we were going to do two more, guys, two more. Coco Key currently has Navigator and Mariner, I believe. We've, we zoomed in on those a little bit ago. Yeah, so Mariner is just now leaving, as is the Divina. And then uh, our Navigator was leaving. Mariner still docked alongside, at least for now. So, uh, yeah, Robbie says Dubai is another extremely busy port. Yeah, when you get over into Europe, it is it is insane. We'll zoom out. I, I won't... I won't take the time to zoom way, way, way in on them because it, uh, it, it does get really, really hectic and busy over there, Europe, and uh, as he mentioned, Dubai, and um, just all of this over here. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at all the blue. If they're, if they're dots, that means that they're stopped. They're anchored or they're docked. Um, look at all of the, the blue dots. It is just it's great compared to the green and red arrows. Uh, so really, really crazy stuff there. Here's Saudi Arabia. Man, so that is uh, that is a little bit of uh, info on where the cruise ships are at in the world right now, what is happening to them, uh, and where they are going. Uh, Barry, yeah, uh, he says my cruise mapper it only shows uh, cruise ships. You can you can toggle that feature. You can have it only show cruise ships. You can have it only show cargo or just a mix. It doesn't, you know, it's it's however you want to make it, but. Uh, in any event, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this little uh, sneak peek on where the cruise ships are at right now in the world, uh, what the crew are doing on board, and uh, what it's going to be looking like for the next 30 days or so. So if you live in a port area and you see a cruise ship out your window, make sure, do us a favor. Uh, take a photo. Take a photo with that cruise ship. Show us what is it looking like. I hope that we can see some crew members up on top, perhaps just getting a little bit of fresh air 
and uh, enjoying this nice little break that they've had. And hopefully we can all get back on a cruise ship uh, sometime soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below this video and share it with a friend. Anybody curious to know, where are the cruise ships at right now? Where did they go? Until the next time, my name is Josh. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And we'll see you Wednesday on Cruise Talk Live. Bye, everybody. Be free.